Greetings, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emmerich, right before game time here. It's an interesting sport in that sometimes your star players only play a third of the time. Do they ever make a contribution? Though? Well, you need them, Doc, to make those big contributions. Star players are a real important cog to the success of your team because if you don't have a lot of them, you're not going to have much success. Tarasenko's versatility, Doc, is what makes him a special player. Look for him to be front and center throughout this game. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Frederick Anderson wheeled into Anaheim and made the NHL's all-rookie team in his first year, winning 20, losing only five. Jake Allen, in his first three full seasons with the Blues, increased his number of games played and victories. We are ready for the first face-off of the night. Matthews will step into the draw for Toronto. O'Reilly's there for the Blues. Toronto's got the puck, and they get to make the first play. Moving it to Edmonton. St. Louis charges up the wing. Let's it go. Grabbed. At the front of the net. That shot came from nowhere. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs of what a stop. Good save there. Pitching it to O'Reilly. Now it's directed to Petrangelo. Pass attempt to Tarasenko. Got that pass. It's all on his shoulders. An outstanding save. He didn't go for the deep. Gains that offensive line. He scores! <laughs> Always better to play from in front than to chase the game. There's the game's first goal. Some shots, only one goal. A lot of opportunities. Love the mindset of getting pucks and people to the net. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Number 34, Austin Matthews. In the slot. Wonderful save. What skill by both Coley and Shooter. That great save was all position. Skill play by Gardner. A solo rush. Comes up big on the breakaway. Flings it. Give that goalie credit for another. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. A little under eight minutes played here in the first. It's a one-nothing game. Critical face-off win at that point. Shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. That pass along the boards. A backhand shot. Routine save. Chip to Perron. Up to the point. Drives it. Handled with the stick. Leads that charge into the zone. Waffle boarded. On to Shannon. Perfect pass. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. His perfect positioning allowed him to shut down that chance. Shot deflected. Puck is thrown to Shen. Slid to Perron. Dings it off the iron. Tavares doesn't need many opportunities to score. His chance to spread the game out. Bangs off the post and goes around. And move down to Shen. Shot had it away. Need to get rid of it. Got it right back. Perfect wrister. A wonderful scoring chance denied. And he shoots. He was standing in the lane and got some up. A good stick stop. Chips it back. Save with the pad. Puck collected. 
pitching this one to Perron. Into the play in the first period. Let's it go. Wonderful stop. Snapping a pass to Cadre. Crosses that line. Let's it go. Just couldn't find the target. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. The Maple Leafs leave the ice with a 1-0 lead. If you are the holder of the winning ticket, please take it to our customer service kiosk at section 1. Toronto's goal came on this play. There's at least one locker room that's happy at the end of this period. We'll be right back. In your community. One period down, another period beckons here. What did you think of the first? The Blues played the majority of the first period playing defense. Now they need to get some puck possession so they can get on the attack and score more goals. And period two is underway. Shoots one. That's why. Puck picked up here. Trying for it. Propelled to Matthews. In with it now. Rister, he scores! Second of the game. What a performance. You get to this high scoring area, a wrist shot is a great choice. Allen's reaction shows that he knew he was going to go up top with the shot, Eddie, but he just couldn't get there. The Maple Leafs have built a two-goal lead now. Perhaps on this faceoff, they can make it three before the end of the second period, at least. And they've taken that faceoff between the blue lines and won it. Turned a shot on net. Well done with that, Pat. Toronto's with it now in center ice. Tremendous job done defensively there with a poke check. Save there. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Toronto's got that win. Deflected off the blocker. What a tremendous hit. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Directing that one to Maroon. Breakaway chance by himself. Score! And it's a one-goal game. He had people chasing him down on a breakaway, but he found a way to score. That's a really good shot, as you mentioned, Edzo, but the goaltender's got to do a better job of staying aggressive, not fall down quickly. He opened up too much of the net. St. Louis has gotten back to a single goal in this game, and they've had the puck an awful lot. And they take that neutral zone faceoff. Got that pass in his own end. And he is shooting. Made the save. To O'Reilly. And Bucks lose, defended away by John Tavares. Picks it up in his own end. Gains the zone. Laid on to O'Reilly. Decides he wants the corner. The battle ends as it's kicked out. It's one of those rare games where there's not much scoring, but there's been plenty of chances. The goaltenders have been excellent, and the energy has been high. Odd man breaks free. That's terrific goaltending. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. Scooped up by Alex Petrangelo. Driving in all alone. A save. He did not buy the deep there. Looking to Kadri. A shot. Got a piece of that one. Solid work there by Johnson. 
Picked up by the defense. St. Louis in mid-ice skating along the side. Just like shootout. Pressed it between his pads. Play is stopped. Really easy stop for the goaltender. Down in the butterfly, he's able to control that shot. Just under five minutes to go in the second. With the scoring of that goal, they're back to within one. So maybe they can tie this thing up. Passing one off now to Nylander. Fires. Made that stop. Trying to go to Bozak. Moving it to Fabry. Steps across that line. Alone. Great save. A little pass from his goalie here. The Leafs are skating it up in neutral ice. Wonderful stop. Pitching it to Bozak. Takes it up that side. It's just him. Got the save there. In the second period. Shoots. Magnificent save. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was because that shot had no chance of going in. Anderson's seen a lot of rubber tonight. His team defensively hasn't helped him out very much, but he's turned aside almost everything, and as a result, they have the lead. And he hatchets one, and a save. Two periods are in the books here, and so one more to go, and maybe overtime, but it's been an entertaining first two. Through two periods, here are the shots on goal. Get ready. 20 for St. Louis and 19 for Toronto. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? The Blues Doc trail going into this third period. They have to start converting some of those chances that they've had. The time of possession has been in their favor, but they're still down. Fires. Solid glove save. And now it's directed to Nylander. Into the attacking end. Good hand to eye, and the reach of the stick. The Blues have it up the wing. In front, and a save. Shoots one, terrific shot, but a save. Pass attempt to Marlowe. The whistle is blown, the net has come off. It'll be put back on. He's able to make a stick save on a shot that really wasn't that challenging for him. Just a hair under four minutes have transpired. And it is two to one the score in this one. They've got the draw. The poke check worked. Long lead pass to Riley. The lane was jammed and it hit somebody. Oh, look at this. He's alone. Can they catch him? Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Great opportunity. Better stop. Shot. Great save. Point blank. And snap to Petrangelo. To Shen. Oh, great defensive play to intercept. Back to the blue line to Petrangelo. They're getting ready to strike. Save. Puck is thrown to Marner. Back on his stick. Shoots. Gathered up again by Alex Petrangelo. This game is breakaway. Score. And the game is even. You get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the tying goal. And now we're back to even. 
St. Louis has gotten this game back even here in the third period. A fun way to go down the home stretch of the contest. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Chip to Steen. Ah, uh, howitzer! He got the outside of the post. Ten minutes, fifty-two seconds. Brings it in for an attack. Oh, broke it up. To Fabry. Fabry's been a goal scorer his whole career. He just can't find a way to put the puck in the back of the net. They need one from him. Just sort of tossed it up there. Anderson's pretty fortunate here, guys. That shot changed direction by a considerable amount, and he was still able to stop it. Over six minutes left to go. A hockey game is a game of lead changes. This one now is even. Let's it go. Didn't get through. And he steps across the line. A shot. He missed the net. Missing the net that badly. There's going to be a teaching point coming from the coach when he gets back to the bench. Out in front. That was a great play and goal. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. They won that faceoff. Can they clear it? Pitching this one to Maroon. Carries it on in from center. Then he's all alone. Score! He's got his second. You fight so long in a tied game. Now you've got the game-breaking goal. What do you do with it? I think you attack. You try to get another one. Or at the very least, you don't let your opponent breathe. The Blues have gotten a one-goal lead here in the third period. Do they go for two, or do they just try to protect this? The Leafs get it off the faceoff. Is able to move on in. Flings it. Got that. Tremendous scoring chance. St. Louis from the wing plays it along. A long game and the clock leads down to the final minute of regulation. Heaves one. You can almost count that one, but no, what a save. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Another face-off win. A great day for him. On to O'Reilly. Wow, what force in that one. That's a great hit. He thought he had more room to get down the wall, and he got closed off in a hurry. Shoots. Score! Not much time left, but this one is tied. Well, I guess this game's not going to spread out. That goal ties it. The teams are so evenly matched. Marlowe's tied this game up late. Does he have another in him? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? Toronto's prevailed again on the faceoff in the neutral zone. Patrick Marlowe. And he steps in from the outside. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Time of the goal. 19 minutes, 26 seconds. Can start the attack going in the zone. New thugs coming on for the Maple Leafs. Goalie out to get that puck. Snapping a pass to Pareko. Watch out! A big hit! Matthews often leads with his skill. A tremendously talented player, but man, when he lays the body on, the bench jumps to its feet. 
three periods were played, and we come out flat even. Saw this coming late in the game that we would end up tied. Do you know someone in your community who The Maple Leafs have carried this game into overtime because of this scoring play. We'll be right back with OT in just a moment. We have begun sudden death overtime. Nobody scores, somebody will in a shootout. Off a of body. He's got that point pass. No team. You know what, Doc? I'd like to see these teams play this way while they're playing instead of after the whistles. with one resounding punch. You don't see too many fights end on that note. Well, the home team just rolling right over top of the visitors. The crowd is all over them right now. A little under four minutes left to go in overtime. We've seen a lot of offense so far, some of it successful. Three to three. Time the penalty. One minute, 17 seconds. Puck out of the zone, and so they'll regroup. Gets in, looks over his options here. A shot! Slid to Riley. Score! The overtime winner! There's the horn and the end of the game. Toronto's come up big here tonight in OT. And their experience really allowed them to get this victory. What a terrific game of hockey. Well played by now. Very tired players. A great time. We hope you enjoyed it. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night all.